all right so this last one right this first one i believe everybody can do this one so this last one port forwarding now what they are trying to say if you observe you find out that we only made 22 443 and 80 open 8080 is not open so it means if you try to access your server on 8080 it shouldn't work right for instance let me even uh, try to access mine here although because i've configured my own i'll be able to access it on 8080 so let's say this one is elx server actually so me i'll put my server if you remember there's one time they say we should add web 01 as a a to our aaa record to our tech dot tech domain we should add it then the name of our domain something like that so mine is bene bene hub dot tech so let me try to assess it from 80 and see you see that it was accessible now you find out that i did not allow 8080 but because of the redirection i'll be able to still assess it on 8080 So you can see why because of every 8080 will be redirected to 80 and because 80 is open through 80 it will now go through so that's what they actually want us to achieve here now look at what they say requirements configure web 01 so that its firewall redirects port 8080 slash tcp to port 8080 slash tcp your answer file should be a copy of the ufw configuration file now take note of this ufw configuration file so it means that for we to be able to achieve this we need to work with the uwf configuration file you understand so now they now say our answer that's what you should not put inside here should be your modified version of the uwfw uh, configuration file now, if you are talking of configuration files, most of times is found in the etc folder. Anything that has to do with network configuration, you always find them in the etc directory. So let's move to our etc directory. So let me see if this my server is still operational. The bit has gone. So now, let's say cd slash etc, right? Now, under etc, if you check very well, you will see your ufw. Look at it here. So will cd into ufw now you find out that there are several rules each of these rules are actually the configuration file right you see that there's an after dot rules there's an before dot rules there's before dot now anyone you are seeing six on it is actually for ipv6 you understand uh -huh. anyone you see without six is for ipv4 that's ip version 4 so for now what we are after is this before dot rules because for this thing to be effective it has to be something that will be defined at the start of our ufw not after so that's why it has to be defined in this before dot rules and how do i know is it out of the blues no what did i do i searched i simply searched for how to redirect connections from port 8080 to port 80 ufw and then i checked this one first so i saw that the guy asked the question he said i'm currently using ufw to enforce some basic firewall rules is it possible to also use ufw to do port forwarding specifically i'm wanting to forward incoming traffic to my server same machine blah 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 now but him now is actually trying to forward from port 80 to port 8080 but we here alex are saying we should forward from port 8080 to port 80 so look at one there's a wonderful answer that was given to him then i told him that for him to forward connection from port 80 to 8080 he first have to allow connection to go through at port 8080 but remember we we are forwarding from port 8080 to 80 and already from this our first question we have already allowed connection at point 80 so it means the rest 
once we can direct 80 80 to 80 it should go through because already 80 has been permitted to run so we don't have issues with this part that is trying to explain here then next it says there are no ufw commands for setting up the port forward so you see unlike all those ones that you allow you deny you know all those ones we did it through a command line now that's why you see here they were specific about using a file you see your answer should be a copy of the UFW configuration file. So here now, you now say, so it must be done via configuration files. Add the line below to this slash etc slash UFW. You see already we are inside etc and UFW, which is this. So the next thing, the file we are going to make changes for is a before dot rules. Look at it here. Look at the file. Now, if you are opening any file in any of your root directory, always make sure you use sudo. If not, if you don't use sudo, you will not be able to save after making edit. So we want to edit before rules. Now look at the instruction. It says before the filter section. Now in this one, in this particular file, configuration file, you find out that there's everything from here downward is the filter section. Look at it. Asterisk filter. So he said we should add it before the filter section. So it means we should come at the top of our filter section here. Sorry, this is not my server. So let me let me use ah, this thing. So let me open my server here so that we'll see. So C D. Okay. Um, yeah, so yes. I want to like ask something. Okay, so concerning this thing, yes, um, this method, fine, yeah. It, but the, the thing is, because yes. when I asked one of my friend, I have done it already, and you know, the checker checked. And if I tell you that what I did was completely did not completely different because okay. the commands are still the same command, so I did not modify the before, um, the before dot rules, okay. um, um, config file. Okay. So um, I forgot the name of the file, but it sometimes do same default inside the same etc. Some something default what call it That's the so that one contains like you know some rules that do it. You know, accept forwarding, accept redirecting. Okay, or something like let me. That. So okay, it, let me. You say you say under the etc, right? Inside the um the the um what's that thing called the ufw slash um cc slash ufw okay. um directory okay okay yeah so has to do with default default let me okay, try to spin up my server okay maybe you probably can... um maybe you should continue what you are doing so i will just quickly spin up my server here yeah. and and check yeah, you for know what well. I did ah, because what I did is a little different from different, this, okay. and I was surprised because people that I reached out to said yes. exactly it checked for everybody and it also checked for me. Wow! So I would do that. Please help us check it. Now, help us check it, please. Sorry for cutting you short. No, ah, uh, no problem. We are all learning. No, ordinarily, there's supposed to be an interactive session. <laughs> so thank you for that. Honestly. So just like I said, everything from here down. I hope this thing have not started misbehaving. Ah, server, server, server. Just small thing that somebody okay. That started responding. Uh -huh. So everything. So everything from here downward is actually for the filter. Now you find out that immediately they finished implementing the filter. What they did was to commit. Now without this commit, all these rules they have indicated to work for for the filter will not be, be committed. Like it won't work at all. That's why if you check under, you see the kind of comments they put for the commit. Don't delete the commit line or these rules won't be processed. So now... If you look at what he said, he said before this filter, that's when we should add this code. So look at the code. That's why I came at the top of filter and added it. 
and here i just made a comment consigning it to indicate that actually uh, what i'm doing is to redirect port 8080 to port 80. so look at it not is almost the same thing now what is happening is that what you are modifying here because when i made some research and i'm finding that all these settings have to do with your ip tables i never knew the ip tables were this huge honestly it's something that if somebody wants to understand he he will take him maybe some weeks to really understand what is going on so under the ip tables there are different sections right so let me show you ah. i hope this thing okay let me see if i can make it big so i don't know if you can see okay there's the picture self ah, imagine This is one or zero. So, come here, let me. Ah, even picture I cannot save. Okay, no problem. Let me see if I can increase it. Good. Now, if you check very well, you find that tables under IP tables. You have filter, you have NAT, you have mangle, and you have raw. Now all these ones is implementation of this filter and filter have to do with input output forward. Now your NAT have to do with your output, your pre-routing and your post-routing. Pre-routing is before, post-routing is after. So what we are looking at is actually an issue of pre-routing. So that's why we have to implement it under the NAT directory, directive. Now this pre-routing accepts this. What it's trying to say is that before any pre-routing should occur, it should first of all run this this before even the, the NAT program activate before it perform any task that that means at zero at point zero zero before it even performs any task because that's what i i check when i was checking what all this meant so use flag a honestly i don't know why they used flag a then pre-routing then flag p then tcp then dot dot the port that's this one is more like which port do we want to forward? We want to forward the port 8080. Flag J. This flag J is necessary for redirection. Then redirect. Then we are we redirecting it. We are redirecting it to port 80. Then once you are done, you make sure you add this commit at the end. If you don't add this commit at the end, I tell you this command will not be processed. So once you add the commit, what you do, you save your file. And after saving your file, what you do next is you reload your ufw so sudo ufw reload you see to show you firewall reloaded then from here what you now do you can just cut the the file so you use sudo since they are denial of permission So once you cut it, you just copy it from here. You just copy it. Then you create this directory that the axiom of here is it. This one, you create it, you put it inside, save it, you push, and then you check your code. So I, I, so uh, I don't know. Are you okay with that?